Originally, the Triassic Thecodons had a sprawling body posture with their legs out to their side, dragging their bellies on the ground. But some began to hold their bodies erect, holding their bellies off the ground with stronger legs. And then some even became bipedal, walking on their hind legs. The hip of early Thecodons was not like that of dinosaurs. It did not have much room for muscle attachment, and the bottom of the hip, what's known as the puboischiatic plate, was flat. But as Thecodons evolved, and we get to forms like Euparkeria, uh, there were processes coming off of the pubis and the ischium larger for muscle attachment. This would become even larger in Lagosuchus, and by the time of Lagosuchus, the hip socket would actually begin to open, which was a condition we would find in the dinosaurs. Thecodons slowly evolved the highly modified foot of the dinosaurs. The phalanges, the toe bones here in yellow, and the metatarsals of the foot in green became longer and longer so the dinosaurs would eventually walk on their toes. And two bones of the ankle became highly modified. Here, uh, the two lar large bones, blue and purple, uh, became modified and incorporated into the lower leg. In humans, the ankle joint occurs above these two bones, the blue and the purple, whereas in dinosaurs, these bones got anchored to the bones of the lower leg, and the ankle joint occurred beneath these uh, two bones. The Thecodont Lagosuchus had a foot and ankle almost identical to that of the dinosaurs. This modified foot would change how dinosaurs moved. Earlier ankle joints allowed twisting and a variety of movements. This was the condition in amphibians and early reptiles. But as the thecodons evolved this modified foot and ankle, uh, dinosaurs then walked on their toes with their ankle actually part way up their leg. This modified ankle joint would only allow flexion and extension, but it made dinosaurs very good at being bipedal many of the most important anatomical changes which would give dinosaurs their unique way of movement actually evolved in the thecodonts which were ancestral to dinosaurs.